in moments of intense fear, it can feel like the world is closing in. Have you ever felt overwhelmed, as if a storm is raging inside you? Today, we're sharing an inspiring parable that provides hope and practical techniques to help you regain control. Picture a peaceful meadow, bathed in the soft glow of dawn. Our story begins with a young hare named Zephyr, who, despite his swift and agile nature, often faced overwhelming panic. He felt lost, unable to escape the suffocating grip of fear. His heart would race, his mind would spin, and he felt trapped in his own body. But what if there was a simple yet powerful way to calm the storm within? Zephyr's journey to peace starts with a single, mindful breath. Through the wisdom of his slow and steady friend, Selene the Turtle, he discovers a path to serenity that you, too, can follow. Selene taught him that slowing down and focusing on his breath could help him manage his fears and find calm in the chaos. By the end of this video, you'll learn how Zephyr transformed his life with Selene's guidance and how you can use these same techniques to reduce panic attacks and find calmness within yourself. Get ready to be inspired and empowered. In the heart of the Enchanted Forest, Zephyr the Hare was known for his incredible speed. He could dart through the trees, leap over streams, and always seemed to be in a hurry. Yet, despite his agility, Zephyr often found himself overwhelmed by a deep, unshakable fear. Panic would seize him at unexpected moments, making his heart race and his mind whirl. One day, as Zephyr was frantically bounding through the forest, he stumbled upon his friend Selina, the wise turtle. Selina was sitting quietly by a tranquil pond, her eyes closed and her breathing slow and steady. Zephyr skidded to a stop and watched her, curious and desperate for some relief from his own anxiety. Selene opened her eyes and saw the worry etched on Zephyr's face. Why do you run so fast, my friend? She asked gently. I run to escape my fears, Zephyr replied, his voice trembling. But no matter how fast I go, they always catch up to me. Selene nodded understandingly. Running away will only tire you out, Zephyr. Instead, let's sit together and breathe. Let me show you a different way. Zephyr, eager for a solution, agreed. He sat beside Selene, mimicking her calm posture. Selene instructed him to close his eyes and focus on his breath, taking slow, deep inhalations and exhalations. At first, Zephyr found it difficult to slow down, his mind racing with anxious thoughts. But Selena's presence was soothing, and her steady breathing became a rhythm he could follow. As the minutes passed, Zephyr felt the tightness in his chest begin to ease. The racing of his heart slowed, and his thoughts became clearer. He opened his eyes and looked at Selene with newfound appreciation. How do you feel? Selene asked. Calmer, Zephyr admitted. But will it last? Selena smiled. It takes practice, my friend. Mindfulness and breathing are tools you can use anytime, anywhere. The more you practice, the more natural it will become. Remember, it's not about running away from your fears, but facing them with a calm mind and a steady heart. Zephyr nodded, feeling a spark of hope. He realized that peace wasn't something to be chased, but something to be cultivated within. With Selene's guidance, he knew he could learn to manage his fears and find serenity in the present moment. As Zephyr continued to practice with Selene, he learned the importance of mindfulness in his daily life. Selene explained that mindfulness is about being fully present in the moment observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. This practice can help reduce anxiety and bring a sense of calm. 
One of the techniques Selene taught Zephyr was called deep belly breathing. She instructed him to place one paw on his chest and the other on his belly. Take a deep breath in through your nose, she said, and feel your belly rise. Then slowly exhale through your mouth and feel your belly fall. At first, Zephyr found it challenging to focus, but Selene encouraged him to be patient. It's okay if your mind wanders, she said. Gently bring your attention back to your breath. Zephyr practiced deep belly breathing every day. He noticed that the more he practiced, the easier it became to calm his racing thoughts. Whenever he felt a panic attack coming on, he would find a quiet spot, close his eyes, and breathe deeply. Over time, this simple technique helped him manage his fears and reduce the frequency of his panic attacks. Selene also taught Zephyr about grounding techniques, which involve focusing on the present moment through the senses. When you feel anxious, she said, look around and name five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. This exercise helped Zephyr anchor himself in the present and reduce his anxiety. With Selene's guidance, Zephyr learned that mindfulness and breathing were powerful tools for managing panic attacks. He felt more in control and less afraid of the overwhelming feelings that used to dominate his life. With continued practice, Zephyr transformed from a panic-stricken hare into a calm and mindful creature. He no longer ran from his fears but faced them with a steady heart and a clear mind. His journey showed him that peace wasn't something to be chased. It was something to be cultivated within. Zephyr's story reminds us that we all have the power to find calm in the chaos. By practicing mindfulness and deep breathing, we can manage our fears and reduce panic attacks. Remember, it's not about escaping the storm but finding stillness within it. Thank you for joining us on this journey with Zephyr and Selene. We hope their story has inspired you to incorporate mindfulness and breathing techniques into your life. Remember, practice makes perfect, and with time, you can find the calm and control you need. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit. Don't forget to subscribe to The School of Self for more inspiring stories and practical tips on self-development. Until next time, take a deep breath and find your inner peace.